When I came to this wedding, I didn't think I'd be using my gun. But if you still want to draw, I have no other choice. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875. The Carlton Hotel. Headquarters of a man called Paladin. Uh, would you... Please hand me those stiff collars, hey, boy. Whoa, oh. Esau. Yeah. Thank you. I guess I can go right in here. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Paladin. Oh. Whoa, you make things all wrinkle up, you pack a suitcase like that. Here, I fix for you. <laughs> Thank you, hey, boy. I bow to no man when it comes to packing a saddlebag, but this, <laughs> I don't know. Well, how come you take your pretty clothes this trip, uh, Miss Paladin? Hey, boy, I am going to a wedding. Wedding? Mm -hmm. Oh, very pleasant. In Ashton, Kansas. Judge Aaron oh. Lindsay's daughter, Susan, is getting married. They're old friends of mine. Hard for me to believe, but I can only think of Susie as a pixie-faced little kid with pigtails. He marry a nice man? Oh, I'm sure he must be nice, but it's someone I don't know. I'll have to admit I was a little disappointed. I always figured Susan would marry David Brinker. David Brinker? You know, he's a boy there in Ashton. Oh. David and Susan grew up together. It seemed just right somehow that they should marry. <laughs> you know, hey, boy, I'm going to tell you something that will surprise you. I believe that I'm getting to be romantic. Oh, that don't surprise me one a doggone bit. No? No. Hola, amigo. You want to know about stereo phonographs? Listen to my last bullfight on ordinary stereo. Ole! But now, Colombia Stereo won. <laughs> ah, there is a corrida de toros. Real life like magnifica. There is such a big difference in stereo phonographs. With most, all you get is a couple of speakers shooting in different directions. But with Colombia, Ah, hombre, you get fantastic stereo projection. What it does is to send circles of sound sweeping through every inch of a room. You are surrounded with live sound, live feeling, live passion. Ole, ole! How they cheered me. Ask your Columbia phonograph dealer to demonstrate stereo won by Columbia. Prices start as low as $39.95 for portables, $129.95 for consoles. El Picador, who let that pull out? Ashton was a pleasant town, prosperous and respectable. Its citizens were solid, hardworking, and law-abiding. It hadn't always been that way. It had its beginnings as a supply station just off the old Chisholm Trail and had grown without restraint into a wild, reckless settlement controlled by a gang of outlaws. Then Judge Aaron Lindsay moved in. Ashton learned about law and order. The railroad station was about a mile outside of town. The judge had sent a horse for me to use and had left word that I should go on out to the ranch. Mr. Paladin! Huh? Who's going? Who's going? Mr. Paladin? I guess you don't recognize me. David Brinker. David. David. I'm sorry. It's been several years, you know. Yeah. I guess you're in town for the wedding. Yes. Will I see you there? No, I'm riding out. On my way now. I'm leaving Ashton. You know how it was with Susan and me. Yeah, but running away isn't always the right answer, David. I know, but it's better this way. I've been waiting here by the ranch gate, trying to get up the courage to see Susie. Tell her goodbye, but... I don't think I will. Uh, would you do something for me, Mr. Paladin? What's that? Uh, tell Susan I wish her a lot of happiness. All right, David. Why don't you change your mind? Come to the wedding. Uh -uh. I know you'll think I'm talking like a sore head, but... Well, it's not right for her to marry him. It's a mighty big mistake. 
Well, so long, Mr. Paladin. Get up here. And thanks. Goodbye, David. Good luck. Come on, boy. Yep. Glad you came. Nothing in the world would have kept me from your wedding. <laughs> Let me look at you. Well, my little pixie face has certainly become a beautiful young lady. Thank you. Oh, my. Oh, Dad will be so happy to see you. How is your father, Susie? Well, I think you'll be surprised when you see Dad. He hasn't been well. Oh? I'm sorry. Come on in the house. All right. Well, I guess you're really excited, aren't you, Susie? Yes, Paladin, that gift you sent, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It seems it's a very special kind of jade, Susan. It's a very special kind of a Chinese god. He's supposed to bring you happiness. Is he magic? He may be. He better be. Oh, now, what kind of talk is that? Oh, never mind. Well, Dad's in his study there. Go right in. I have to get ready. Uh, wait, Susan. I, uh... Saw David Brinker out by the ranch gate. David? Yes. He said to tell you that he wishes you a lot of happiness. He was, uh, he was leaving Ashton. David leaving? No, he can't leave. Oh, no. Oh, David. Susan. Paladin. Well, hello, Aaron. Uh, it's good to see you. And it's good to see you, Aaron. What's the matter with Susan? Well, I... I believe it's something called wedding day nerves. Well, I wish that girl's mother were alive. This is too much for me, I tell you, Paladin. This whole thing's got me torn up. Aaron, who is this boy she's going to marry? Tom Cameron. A newcomer here. Bought the old Abbott spread. You mean the ranch that borders your place? Yes, that's the one. Oh. She and Tom will be living in the old Abbott house. Well, that'll be nice for you, Aaron, having Susan that close after she's married. Yes, I suppose you could say that. But there's something mighty strange about this marriage, Paladin. Mighty strange. <laughs> If dandruff dulls your hair, leaves your scalp itchy, please listen. You can get rid of annoying dandruff so fast today, no one should suffer any longer. With Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo, unsightly dandruff's gone in three minutes. It's the quickest, easiest of all leading shampoos. Besides that, using Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away. Simply apply in the unique Fitch manner. Before you wet hair, rub in one minute. This way, Fit Shampoo penetrates right down to the scalp. Next, add water. Lather one minute to wash every trace of dandruff out of your hair. Then rinse one minute. All that loosened dandruff goes down the drain. In three minutes, with Fitch, one rubbing, one lathering, one rinsing, dandruff's gone. And while removing dandruff, Fitch can also brighten hair up to 35%. To get rid of dandruff problems forever, brighten hair too. Use Fitch regularly. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today, only 59 cents. It was a lovely wedding. The bride was beautiful and becomingly shy. The groom was handsome and proudly possessive. During the ceremony, the ladies of the town wept. And after the ceremony, the men of the town gathered around the punch bowl. There were games for the children, dancing for the young folk, and a barbecue for hundreds on the oak-shaded grounds of the ranch. Judge Lindsay shook hands with everyone there, then retired to his room. He looked very tired. Finally, the bride and groom together cut the huge decorated cake and accepted the toasts of their friends, and then they left in a beribboned carriage for their new home on the next ranch. It was a wedding to remember, but still the punch flowed and the guests stayed on. It was shortly after dark that someone suggested a chivalry. Somehow the old world custom that had been brought to the West seemed a fitting way to end the day. I went along. We gathered on the lawn in front of the old Abbott Ranch House, and a few minutes later, Susan and Tom came out on the porch to accept their congratulations. Uh, Tom! Tom! 
Oh, no. No, pardon me. Please, excuse me. Susie, go back inside the house. I'll be there in a minute. But I... Please, go inside, Susie. All right. Tom. Tom. What's going on here? Well, I'm Sheriff Wills. I was out there with the crowd. What happened? He's dead. Dead? Somebody out there wasn't shooting into the air. What do you mean? Cameron was hit by a rifle bullet. A rifle? Those men in the crowd out there were shooting 45. Well, there must have been somebody lurking back there in the dark, just waiting to kill him. Yeah, using the noise of chivalry to cover up. And I can think of only one person who'd do that. Who? David Brinker. What are you talking about? He lost his woman, didn't he? That's pretty hard for a man to take some. David would never do anything to hurt Susan. You tell me who, then. I don't know, but we'll find out. Well, I'm betting on Brinker. I got nothing against the kid, personally. But he's the only one who's got any reason. And I aim to get some of my men together and find him. See what he's got to say for himself. Look, Sheriff, David left town early this morning. All right, if he ain't here, he's innocent. But if we find him around, he'd better have a good story. Hey, fellas. Sam, Bob, come here. We gotta get busy. Susie? I heard what he said. David didn't do it. I'm going to take you back to your father's place, Susie. David didn't do it. Uh, of course he didn't. Anyway, David's probably miles away from here by this time. No, he isn't. Well, what do you mean? That's just the trouble. He is here. I saw him. He was on his horse in that stand of willows by the road. I saw him when we were coming here after the wedding. You sure? Yes. Paladin David didn't do it. Not David. Not David. Susan, he... Susan, why are you talking this way? Your husband... Your husband is dead out there. I know. It's a terrible thing that's happened to Tom. I'd give anything if I could change it, but... Susan, what are you trying to say? Paladin, you have to know this. I didn't love Tom Cameron, and he didn't love me. Susan, then why the marriage? Oh, he liked me well enough, but... what he really wanted was the land I'll have someday. The Lindsay Ranch, the water rights, the power it would give him in the community. You still haven't told me why you married him. Well, I... I... Now listen, Susan, you have to tell me. I guess you call it blackmail. Blackmail? He knew something about Dad. Something about destroying evidence, a very serious thing. He had proof, and I saw it. He threatened to expose Dad, disgrace him. Did the judge know this? No one did. Susan, do you think your father would want you to sacrifice yourself for him for any reason? It wasn't only Dad, it was the whole town. You know what Judge Aaron Lindsay means to Ashton. He's become a sort of symbol to the people. What would happen if they found out he wasn't quite the man they think he is? Well, I can't answer that now. I only know one thing. Some of those half-drunk citizens may decide to give the sheriff a hand and find David Brinker before we do. Come on. Constipation can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, as close to natural acting as possible, and a medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, Exlax has been popular with many doctors and millions of people over the years because chocolate at Exlax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. Exlax is gentle. Next morning, it gives you the closest thing to natural action. And that's why many doctors and millions of people use Exlax with complete confidence. Exlax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity gently. Overnight. Is Exlax in your medicine cabinet? I ripped the white ribbons from the carriage, and Susie and I started back to the Lindsay Ranch. I didn't know what to expect, but I was uneasy. I knew that the people shocked by the sudden tragedy would not reason, but would lash out in anger, seeking any revenge for the cruel ending to their storybook wedding. 
It was a clear night. Now the moon was high, and it was possible to see for some distance. I kept watch. Paladin, what is it you're looking for? Well, I'm not sure, Susan. That is, I wasn't sure, but I think I've found it. Get up! Get up! Get up! Yeah. Hey, see that crowd? What are they doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Paladin, that's David. That's David they have backed up against the cliff. Yeah. Oh, no. They're, they're stoning him. Susan, you stay here. You stop that. Stop that. You, ooh. you hear me? Stop that now. Now. David. Mr. Paladin. Come with me. See here, mister. This is our business. Stand back, you. Let us through. Now, you just hold it a minute. You ain't taking him nowhere. You tell the sheriff if he wants to get out a warrant for David Brinker's arrest, he'll find him at Judge Lindsay's ranch. I don't like your button in. Now, him to do something about it. Ooh. Oh, my hand. You'll be able to use that hand again. But the next man who draws on me won't be so lucky. All right. Let's go, David. Feel all right, David? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm fine now. Good. Will you take the carriage back to the barn? Sure. I want to go in and see the judge. Susie, why don't you go up to your room and try to get some rest? No, I'll go with David. Well, oh, all right. Oh, wait a minute. David, I thought you were leaving Ashton. Well, I uh, began to think of what you said about running away. So I turned around and came back, but... Well, I wasn't sure if I'd done the right thing. When I was there in the Willows, Susan and... Cameron came by. Yes, Susie said she saw you. Well, then what did you do? Well, I moseyed on down the back road. I stayed there until I saw all the people leaving the wedding. I wanted to talk to the judge. Did you talk to him? No. No, by the time I got there, he was gone. His horse wasn't in its stall. I guess he'd gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, just unhitch the horses and come back to the house. All right, Mr. Powell. sheriff will be here soon with a warrant for David Brinker's arrest. But David didn't kill him. I know that. I guess you know who did. Yes. Why? I couldn't let her sacrifice herself for me, Paladin. You found out about the blackmail? Yes. When? After the wedding ceremony when I came upstairs... I overheard them quarreling. It seems he refused to destroy the evidence he had against me, as per the agreement. He threatened to continue to hold it over her head. Suddenly, I understood the whole thing. <laughs> Poor Susie. Aaron, this, this information that he had, was it true? Yes. I was guilty. I broke the law. I who held to the letter of the law when I pronounced judgment on others. What do I do, Aaron? You won't have to do anything, my friend. I've already written a letter to Sheriff Wills confessing to the murder. But I'm afraid I'll be denied my rights of trial by a jury in the courts of our land. What do you mean? I'll have to answer to a higher court. I'm going to die, Paladin. Aaron. My doctor forbade me to ride my saddle horse. He 
He said my heart wouldn't stand it. I rode hard tonight. Well, the doctor could be wrong, Aaron. That's what I told him. But you know something. He was right. Absolutely right. Miss Apology. Oh. Hello, hey boy. You sit here in the corner of lobby all alone? Look very sad. You still think of good friend uh, Judge Lindsay? Afraid so, hey boy. Oh. Not good to mourn so long. Time to think of other things. You remember that jade figurine we got from your uncle? Oh, he saw a uh, Chinese god. He bring uh, happiness. Well... Does he really? Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Paladin, uh, that god, a uh, uh, pretty tricky fellow, but uh, no need ever worry about him. Uh, everything work out fine in the end. Does it? Tobacco flavor, Winston's easy drawing too. The flavor comes right through to you. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. A modern filter? Sure, Winston has it. But that's only the beginning of a Winston. Up front, up where it really counts, Winston packs exclusive filter blend. Light, flavorful tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. Filter blend. That's why it's fun to smoke Winston, America's best-selling filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Have gun. Will travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear, Bartlett Robinson, Sam Edwards, Robert Robinson, and Eleanor Berry. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will travel. <laughs>